Hello children. Today we are doing angles and their properties. Exercise 18a. This is found on page number 191. Question 1. For each angle given below, write the name of the vertex, the names of the arms and the name of the angle. So the first angle has been given to us. We have to write the name of the vertex, arms and angle. Vertex is the point where the two rays meet. So the name of the vertex is O. And the two rays are the arms of this angle. So what are the arms? OA and OB. The arms are OA and OB. How do we name the angle? We name the angle with three letters, A, O, B, or B, O, A, keeping in mind that the letter O comes in the middle, that is, the letter which names a vertex comes in the middle. So let me put the symbol angle A, O, and B, angle A, O, B, or angle B, O, A. Second one. This is the angle given to us. Let's name the vertex. Vertex is where the two arms meet or where the two rays meet. So that's the letter Q. The arms are Q, P and Q, R. Q, P and Q, R. Let's name the angle now. Remember to keep the letter Q in the middle. So angle P, Q, R. You can also say angle R, Q, P. The third one, the vertex is the point where the two rays meet. So the vertex is M. The arms are the two rays, M, N and M, L. M, N and M, L are the two arms. The angle will be L, M, N. Angle L, M, N. Keep the letter M in the middle. Always the letter of the vertex should be in the middle. Question 2. Look at the figure. You can see angle P, Q, R. You can see some points inside the angle, within the angle. These are the points that are to the interior of the angle. And all the other points that you see are outside the angle. So what does the question say? Name the points in the interior of the angle PQR and in the exterior of the angle PQR. So what are the points in the interior of the angle PQR? A, B and X. These are the points in the interior. Now let's see what are the points in the exterior of the angle. We have D, point D, point M, point N, point S and point T. Question 3. In the adjoining figure, find out the number of angles formed within the arms OA and OE. So this is the arm. This is the arm OA is here and OE is here. So within this, what are all the angles that are formed? So let's start with A. Angle AOB. Shall we start with that? Angle AOB. This is the first one. Then angle AOC. Angle AOC. Then let's go to the next one. Angle AOD. Then one more with angle A, starting with A. Angle AOE. Okay, so we finished with A, starting with A. Now let's go on to B. BOC. Angle BOC. Then again continue with B. BOD. Angle BOD. What is the next one? Angle BOE. Angle BOE. Now we don't have to say angle BOA. This part we don't have to say because it's already mentioned here. Okay. AOB or BOA is the same. So we don't have to do it there. Okay. 
Now let's go on to the letter C starting with C. C O D. Okay, so we have angle C O D. Then we have angle C O E. Angle C O E. So we finished with C. Okay, let's go on to the last one which is D. Angle D O E. This is the one. Angle D O E. So how many angles have been formed between the arms OA and OE? Now let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 angles have been formed. So find the number as a question. So we've got 10 angles between the arms OA and OE. Next question. Add. Now, how do we add angles? If you look to the right here, you can see this ray, isn't it? This is the ray. Now, if I turn the ray all the way around like this, as I've shown here, this arrow mark, and then take it around, and then take it around, and bring it back to the same position, this ray would have completed one rotation, one complete rotation. One complete rotation is equal to 360 degrees. If I divide this 360 degrees into 360 parts, each part is one degree, isn't it? And one degree is equal to 60 minutes. And how do I show the 60 minutes? I write 60 and I put a dash there, a stroke there. It is called a prime. Okay, now if I want to say two minutes, I say two and I put a prime. If I want to say three minutes, I say three and I put a prime. I don't have to use the word minutes. Okay, so that little stroke there stands for prime. So this conversion you should know. One degree is equal to 60 minutes and each minute is equal to 60 seconds. And the two dashes there or the two strokes are the two Primes. So keeping this in mind, we are going to work out these addition sums. So here we are going to have three columns. Look at the question, 29 degrees. So we are going to have a degree column, 60, 16 minutes, a minutes column and 23 seconds, a seconds column. Okay, so let me write that down. Can you see we have put this and we have arranged it. We have already arranged the two numbers in degrees, minutes and seconds. So now we are going to do the addition. Now when we do the addition, there is one thing you must keep in mind. The seconds column should always be less than 60 because if it becomes 60, it's equal to one minute. Now the seconds column and the minutes column should always be less than 60, whereas the degrees can go up to 360. So let's start our addition. 3 plus 2 is 5. 2 plus 1 is 3. 6 plus 7 is 13. Carry 1. 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 1, 4. 9 plus 8 is 17. Carry 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So I've got 37 degrees, 43 minutes and 35 seconds. So if you look at the seconds column, it's less than 60. I can leave it as it is. The minutes column is less than 60. I can leave it as it is. So my answer has to be written very clearly. I need to write 37 degrees, 43 minutes and 35 seconds. Second sum, we do it the same way. So first thing is we write down the first set of Numbers, arrange the second one below that, get ready for your addition. Now here, I'm going to put a zero because there's a number missing and I'm going to do my normal addition. Six plus five is 11, carry one. Five plus one is six plus one, seven. So that is 71. Let me rewrite that. That is 71. Now, as you can see, children, it is more than 60, isn't it? It's more than 60. I'll leave it there and I'm going to carry on with the next part. I'll come back to this. My sum is not over. 
5 plus 8 is 13. Carry 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. 9 plus 3 is 12. Carry 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. Okay, so I've got the degrees, I've got the minutes, I've got the seconds. As you can see, the seconds column is more than 60. So I have to take away 60 from this. So when I take away 60 from this, it becomes 1 minute. Isn't it? 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. So I add that 1 here to the minutes column. So let's do this. So first I need to subtract. 1 minus 0 is 1. 7 minus 6 is 1. So I finish this. I've got 11 seconds. Let me go to the minutes column. 3 plus 1 is 4. 5 I write it as it is. Minutes and the degrees is the same. 82 degrees. So can you see that? Now my final answer to this question will be 82 degrees, 54 minutes and 11 seconds. Question 3. Let me arrange it. Now there are numbers missing. So let me fill in those gaps with zeros. So zero seconds. I'm just filling it in to make my addition easier. Okay, so let's start our addition. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus three is three. So I've got 30 seconds. Eight plus two is 10. Carry one. Three plus one is four. Four plus four is eight. 80 minutes. 6 plus 7 is 13. Carry 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. Plus 2, 8. 83 degrees. Okay, let's check the seconds column. It's 30. It's less than 60. So I will leave it as it is. So it is 30 seconds. Now let's go to the minutes column. As you can see, it's more than 60. So I have to take away 60 from it. If it's more than 60, I have to take away 60. And when I take away 60, I must add 1 because 1 degrees equal to 60 seconds. So let's do this subtraction first. 0, 8 minus 6 is 2. So I've got 20 minutes. Now let's go to the degrees. 3 plus 1 is 4. And I write 8 as it is, 84 degrees. So this is what I've got, 84 degrees, 20 minutes and 30 seconds. So let me write my answer. It's important that you write your answer clearly. 84 degrees, 20 minutes and 30 seconds. Question 4. Let's arrange. So I have 47 degrees only. Then I have degrees, minutes and seconds. So let me first fill in whatever is missing so that I will not make a mistake with my addition. Okay, now we can start our addition. Let's start. 0 plus 4 is simply 4. 0 plus 7, 7. 0 plus 1, 1. 7 plus 1, 8. 4 plus 6 is 10. So I've got 108 degrees. 17 minutes and 4 seconds. There's no conversion here, nothing to add or subtract. So my final answer is 108 degrees, 17 minutes and 4 seconds. Let's go to question 5. A figure has been given to us. Now in the figure given alongside, we need to name a few things. Okay. So let's see what we have to name. First, we have to name three pairs of adjacent angles. Now, what are adjacent angles? Adjacent angles are a pair of angles, two angles that have the same vertex. They have one common vertex. They have one common arm. Okay, so look out for that. So let's see angle AOB. This is angle AOB. And look at angle BOC. Can you see both of them, both these angles have the same vertex O and they are sharing one common arm OB. They share a common arm OB. So that is one pair of adjacent angles. So let's write that pair angle 
AOB, AOB and angle BOC, angle BOC. That is the first pair. Okay, so let me just draw a line there to show you that one pair is over. Now let's go on to another pair. Okay, again we'll start with A, AOD and COD. Can you see they also have one common vertex here and they have a common arm OD. Okay, so it is sharing one arm and they have a common vertex. They are adjacent angles. So let's write that angle AOD and angle COD. Okay, now we need to name one more pair of angles. Okay, this time let's go to B. Let's start with B. So we finished with A. Now let's go to B. Angle BOC and angle COD, they share a common arm. COC and they have a common vertex O. So that is the third pair. So it is angle BOC and angle COD. So we have got three pairs of adjacent angles. Two acute angles. You know what acute angles are, isn't it? Acute angles are angles that are less than 90 degrees. That means a 90 degree angle will be like an L, isn't it? Anything smaller than that is called an acute angle. So look out and see for smaller angles. Look at AOB, it's small. And look at AOD, that is also smaller angles. Both these are less than 90 degrees. So let's write that down, angle AOB and angle AOD. These are small angles, as you can see, they are small, they are not L-shaped, they are smaller than that, it's come down. So they are acute angles. Next one, two obtuse angles. Obtuse angles are angles that are greater than 90, okay? So they are not straight like an L, they go beyond that L. So we have BOC. Can you see that? Angle BOC and angle COD go beyond 90 degrees. So let me write that down. Angle BOC and angle COD are obtuse angles. Next one. Two reflex angles. What are reflex angles? Angles that are more than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. So that should go beyond 90 degrees, beyond 180 degrees, which is a straight line. Okay, now look at angle AOB. This is an acute angle, isn't it? It's less than 90. Now the rest of the angle, if I have to continue angle AOB on the other side, this whole thing is called a reflex angle and it is still AOB. So how do we write that? We need to write the word reflex. Reflex angle AOB. Reflex angle AOB means we are talking about the second portion and not this. Okay, so this is reflex AOB. Can you see the big curve? It's almost equal to 360 degrees. Okay, then there is one more reflex angle here. If you look at COD, this is COD, but if I take the reflex of COD, it's that whole thing. It's that whole thing. So this part is not what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the other part. So how do I write that? I need to write the word reflex, reflex angle COD. We will stop with this for now. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you, children.